After the May 4th, 2013 event, the female had filed a restraining order against me. And despite her telling me she several times that she was going to testify on my behalf, and apparently she was playing two sides against the middle in that she was also going to be apparently testifying for the police. So between the restraining order, there was uh, four weeks before I had an opportunity to reply to it. And that restraining order ended up being a mutual restraining order that ended January 2014 as a mutual restraining order because no one listened to me, no one cared, and I assume no one believed me. It has to be noted, though, during that time and until the first officer who I allegedly assaulted and obstructed testified, their own narrative, false narrative, uh, was believed on default. So they had added to her lies their own lies, assumptions, whatever. So she had... Um, posted a reply comment to one of my videos at the time and her reply comments really tells all about what this whole event was based on and her involvement and I took screenshots of her comments and during that time when she had commented she had a restraining order in effect against me. So, basically, she had breached that restraining order. Now, I did reply to those comments on my video, because one, there were public comments, and two, although the first name was hers, the last name had some... I forget what it was. Um, it wasn't a, a name. It was some abstract, something abstract. Anyway, so there's a 99% chance that was her. But based on the comments, I was trying to, in, in my replies, I was trying to, if it was her, like if, if it came out that in her comments that it was her, then I would have ceased uh, immediately. But there was a 99% chance that it was her. There was a 1% chance that it wasn't. So I tried to bait out, find out if that was actually her or not. But I mean, you can read the her comments and decide for yourself. But at the end of the day, as with a lot of these restraining orders against men, women breach the restraining orders that they impose on men. I just wanted to share this little bit of evidence and you decide what that's all about. Now, that female who started all this has not only caused hardship in my life allowing this thing to drag on for years. And she had the opportunity to correct her wrong. But then again, now we have the two officers creating a false narrative, which in probably in her mind, but the hell with it, you know, this guy was going to do, or however they describe me, like who knows what was running through her head. I'm not going to speculate. But at the end of the day, this whole matter, she was ground zero to it. And because of her, to date, not just the hardship that I'm going through, but a lot of other people are affected, including the one officer that I allegedly assaulted and obstructed. He's out of a job. Because in his mind at the time, and until the truth started slowly surfacing, he thought he was doing the right thing. 
So everything just kind of compounded on top of each other. And all the people that have been affected in the legal profession because of her. And what she doesn't realize is these people are not going to forget.